Hello AHS, I'm Kate Polk. Today marks our 60th episode of Eye of the Needle. Three years ago, Hannah Jesperson and Monica Witzman started this weekly newscast. Over the next eight weeks, journalism production students will be anchoring the show. Today we will have senior Casey Enid and junior Corgan Peterson. Hi Atlantic High School, thanks for joining us. I'm Corgan Peterson. And I'm Casey Enid, and you're watching The Eye of the Needle. Girls and boys basketball competed at Glenwood last night. Coach Jewell commented on the game. Uh, the girls played very well last night against Glenwood. Uh, we lost by six, um, but we were in the game to the end. You know, we fought hard. Um, we played with a lot of effort. Uh, Glenwood had beat us by 30 points um, just a couple of weeks ago, so uh, to come back and be in the game in the fourth quarter last night was a uh, huge step forward for us. On the boys' side, Brian Hawkins talks about... Uh, we're down at half, came back, made some pretty good plays second half. Uh, Brendan Holmes made a pretty cool layup. And, I don't know, we ended up winning a close game, so that's all that really matters. On Friday, both teams will play Lewis Central. Boys will be home and girls away. Also on Saturday, the boys will play at Abraham Lincoln starting at 7.30. Tomorrow, boys... Swimming will travel to Kern Junior High School. The meet will start at 5 p.m. Jazz band and show choir swing in will take place at 7.30 in the auditorium. Archery and math competition will be on Saturday. The math competition will be held at Iowa Falls. Also, the JV wrestling will be at Thomas Jefferson High School, while the varsity will travel to ADM. Now to Skyler with more information on wrestling. Hi, I'm Skyler Swoboda, and you're watching this week's Trojan Buzz. I'm here with sophomore Drake Roller and freshman Colt Mudd. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Uh, Drake, how did the boys wrestle on Saturday? Uh, you know, we wrestled uh, decent. Um, we didn't wrestle to our full potential. We wanted to go in there beating Humboldt and Glenwood to get the, the top of the spot there. But uh, we fell to Glenwood, but we uh, beat Humboldt like Coach wanted us to do. So we have a lot of room in the work, or uh, a lot of room for improvement this week. So we all right. I understand that we had four champions on Saturday. Yep, uh, we had Carter Cox at 113, Marshall McDermott at 126, Reed Nichols at 152, and Keegan Hoffman at 220. And uh, Colton, uh, how did we do? They do on Monday. Well, JV did pretty good. We not a whole lot of people got pinned, which was what Coach was looking for. But there was, we didn't wrestle to our full potential, like Drake said, and. I mean, there's only a couple people that won both their matches. Me, Eugene, Zarbano, and Devin Erickson won his match by one point. But other than that, we had some pretty good matches that were close and lost by points. So. Uh, what are some of the things you guys are hoping to work on this week? Um, fight. We just got to keep fighting for uh, points. Just put them on the board. We got to go in there. I think we're going to win every match. You know, just mental stuff and uh, just working hard in the room. Uh, what are you looking forward to this next Saturday? Winning. Um, we want to go down there and win the tournament. Um, that's our goal for everything is just win. Win with heart, win everything. Um, go in there, just wrestle at our full potential and just wrestle, I guess. All right, thanks guys. Back to you, Corgan and Casey. Thanks, Skylar. That concludes this week's episode. Till next time, I'm Gorgon Peterson. And I'm Casey Eden. Make this week count, AHS.